Hot Wheels brand toy cars are celebrating their 50th anniversary this year. And no one in our town, Norfolk, can appreciate that more than the man you are about to meet. Our Lance Schwartz joins us now from the Elkhorn Valley Museum in downtown Norfolk. Back in 2014, Kent Von Kampen was in the U.S. Navy working for the Joint Staff in the Pentagon. And as you might imagine, he needed something that would help him relieve some stress. So Kent joined the Charm City Collectors Club in Baltimore, and he continued his Hot Wheels passion when he moved back here to Our Town Norfolk in 2016. So over here are my collection of customs that I've built. Kent Von Kampen has lined most of the walls in his house with this massive collection of tiny die-cast vehicles. On through here is just the beginning of my personal collection. I've started collecting when I was just a kid like every, anybody else. And through the years, I've collected more than some years and other years where I just kind of lose control. <laughs> Kent says he has nearly 3,000 die-cast cars in his collection, but believe it or not, he says that isn't even that large compared to some. So along this back wall here, we have a little bit of everything again, mainly focusing on some European cars. This 41-year-old really knows his stuff. So this is a Datsun 510 BRE Bluebird, and it was part of the vintage racing series from 2011. It is unbelievable how much I've learned to appreciate and just gain knowledge and grow from other people. This 1996 graduate of Norfolk High School says the advent of the internet has changed the game of collecting die-cast cars. I can instantly go onto Facebook and some of the groups that I belong to and know when a certain car is going to hit Walmart or Target, Family Dollar, so we move downstairs and you can see it continues. There seems to be more and more and more cars everywhere you look. This is mainly my BMWs. And when you talk about what to collect, you collect what you like. That was the best piece of advice I ever got. Mainly in this container, I have a few treasure hunts. A treasure hunt is a car that was made by Hot Wheels to be a limited edition or a special edition car. What I'm doing right now is I have three cars that are in various stages of the custom process. So in these last little displays here is just a mix of different cars that I've just run out of room for. I've Kent loves these shiny little cars, but throughout the years, it's been the people that he's met along the way that make it so rewarding. I've dealt with people from India to Australia and most of the lower 48 here, here in the States. Hawaii, nobody in Alaska yet. But who knows, Kent just might meet his first Alaskan Hot Wheels collector coming up here in the first week of April when he attends his very first National Hot Wheels convention in Dallas. Thank you, Lance, for bringing us 10 very interesting stories this week from our town, Norfolk. And if you happen to miss any of those 10 stories, we have some good news for you. Coming up tomorrow night, following the 6 o'clock news, you can see a content-filled half-hour special presentation where Lance treats us to still more of the good life in our town, Norfolk.